Well, hello guys. Welcome back to the Paper Whisperer. Today we'll be teaching you probably the most complex model I've ever designed. Probably the level of the Ancient Dragon because of its collapse, but it's called the Empress Bird. It has wings. It has a, it has a cardinal head and a beautiful tail. Let me see if I can show it. That's the tail. So, I'll be using a 9.4 inch, sorry, 9.5 inch square Kami from um, Amazon. You can use, I'd recommend using at least uh, the size of, of printer paper. That's what I use for this one. I'm going to be using a sheet of gold once I can find it. You know what? Who cares? No gold for me. I'm using a, I'm going to be using one sec. A black sheet of Tommy. If you've been here before, you probably know the drill. This is not for beginners at all. I mean it. If you're I think anyone under five years of work on the experience, even five years, probably wouldn't be able to make this model. So, what you're going to do, is you're going to start by folding half diagonally both directions. Then unfold. Turn 180 degrees and repeat. Sorry, 90 degrees. I make the mistake sometimes. Now, unfold, and you're going to fold this, the top edge, oops, let me take a picture real quick, the top edge to, to the line going from the bottom left to the top right corner, and make a pinch on, what you're going to do is you're going to make a pinch on, one sec, you're going to make a pinch right over here. You have a pinch right over here. Now, what you're going to do is you are going to fold. Make it, actually, make the pinch a bit longer. There we go. Now, you're going to fold this edge. This is a bit of a tricky step. And fold it so that it makes a point on this corner. And th th the bottom of the edge hits the pinch. I'll show that now. So you hit make it so that it goes to the corner and hits the pinch we just goes a lot a lot a lot and the edge uh, aligns with the pinch we just made. Now you're gonna make another pinch on the the this other side, not the corner, but the but not the point over here, but this side. And make a, a little bit of a pinch. Unfold. Now fold the right edge up to that pinch. Unfold. If I'm going fast, feel free to pause the video. Now, fold the left edge to that crease. Hope you like the new camera angle. It's really helping me explain it better. Okay, now unfold. You should have thirds in the horizontal direction. Now, fold the, the bottom edge up so that if the edge lines with these two edges, so this these this edge and this edge line with these two edges, but you're gonna make it so that this edge aligns with these two pinches. Sorry if I talk too fast, it's a force of habit. Okay. Now what you're gonna do I'm going to fold the top edge to the crease you just made. Unfold. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to, um, 
we're to hold each corner to the first intersection that they can hit. Well, we're going to start with one corner, then hold it to the next intersection that it can hit. Repeat that on all four corners so that each square is going to have an X on it. Like I said, this is a really complex origami. Um, it's like harder than my other origami, the, the other two origamis the, um, the, that are intermediate, the hydrogen house box and the little red flying hood. But this is a complex origami, those are intermediate. So I, when I, and I hope you don't go by the warnings when I say it's, an, it's not for beginners, I mean it. I'm not just saying that so, I, so it sounds like I made a really complex origami. I'm saying it because I, I I want no one to get I don't want people to get frustrated. Okay, now we'll make it so that an edge is facing you. Hold the the edge is facing that's towards you to the first crease. Therefore making a therefore making a sixth. Then fold it to the at the, the edge parallel with it. Okay, now rotate 90 degrees and repeat. Now some people like prefer to use the S method. This actually is not good for this organ because you need those diagonal creases for it to work. So that's why I, I really want you to use the other method just for this organ. Uh, on the other organ, there's a chance I might use the S method, but but still, and some people measure it. None of that works. And you want to make sure you only make pinches besides the diagonal creases. Otherwise, it will totally ruin the model. Not really ruin it, but it will make it much harder to collapse. Okay, now this time you're only going to do the first six because already the halfway creases are done. Rotate in degrees and repeat. And you're going to have six. And each square of two by two is going to have all the creases. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to pick two edges. So I'm going to choose this one and this one. These you're gonna choose these edges, and these edges should um I be the edges that you're gonna divide into eight. Okay, so you're gonna take the space between the first the the edge and the um well the edge and the cr the cr the second crease. You're gonna divide that into eight. I'll show you how to do that. You're gonna start one sec. You're gonna start by holding the, the edge up to the first crease, just like last time. There's another way to do this, but I prefer to show you the more accurate, more precise way. Now, hold that edge to, to the crease in two creases. So, fold it up two more creases. You know what I mean, it's hard to explain. Fold it to the third crease. Unfold. Now, hold the edge along the first crease, and then make a mount. Sorry, a valley fold back. Therefore, making a mountain fold on the original when we unfold it. By the way, when I'm recording this, this is December twenty fifth. So, have a Merry Christmas. Of course, I might not upload it at that time, but really it and I, I'm giving a big thank you to Robert Gelantis for um really helping me be inspired to make these models okay we're gonna repeat once or twice more And 
completely unsold. Make sure that your creases are accurate. That's the most important part. And strong, of course. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to repeat nine, nine degrees rotated. But the thing is, you're only doing it for two edges that are adjacent to each other. Right. This is only my second time folding this model because I designed it yesterday, but I hope so bear with me. I think you're gonna enjoy the tutorial if you're pretty good at work on me. Like I said, this is a complex work on me. Okay, now unfold. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna see a four by four square, square grid with diagonal creases in it. And then you're gonna see a bunch of um, littler creases along the edges. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So on the first crease, you're gonna fold it. And then you're gonna fold along the first crease down here and hold the edge where the crease goes up to 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 the line here now unfold make sure it's very strong this is very important of the crease and then fold up to or fold up four depending on how you decide it and repeat. You're only going to fold up the first line, making the same size triangles. If you already have a crease, just reinforce it. Sometimes that happens. And so as I, as I, I'm not going to say this in many videos, but I highly, highly, highly recommend watching the video first before you attempt this model. That way, you you know like what you're like what you're putting up against. Like I said, this is a, vi a very, very, very non-simple model, and you're about to find out why. Okay, unfold. You're gonna have these diamonds. Now, you're gonna hold the the further one, the third crease to the side and repeat the same steps. Remember, you should be folding it up, not, not down. there's a chance I might be starting a craft other craft channel I don't know what's called but um I'll be well not really craft but, ho but interesting hobbies um I have no clue what I'm gonna call it yet but it will be featuring crochet some weaving um whistling really loud whistling um and I think and the hand flute and many other things I hope you're gonna enjoy it I 
really good anyway. If you if you enjoy the paper with fur, you're gonna enjoy this channel. Feel free to look out for it. Okay, now rotate and repeat, except in the other direction. So the third crease is gonna be the half crease, the full and half crease. Thing is, with this camera, unfortunately, I cannot zoom in. I would love to, but that's the thing about these cameras. I can try. Never mind. I don't know how. I'll look it up later. I find these pretty similar to the ones I made in the scale tutorial. Which will be, well, I will make in the scale tutorial. The scale tutorial I've already made, but it probably won't upload for some time. Because it's an intermediate one, but that might take some time. It's a 45 minute to 50 minute video, and I didn't even finish it. It's hard to explain, but it'll take a while. Don't worry, we'll be done with pre-creasing soon, hopefully. <laughs> now, what you're gonna do, you're gonna fold diagonally in half so that the, the, the diagonal crease goes through the squares that you made by the, the edges, the edge eight creases. Now, what you're gonna do, let me just check my work. Okay, what you're gonna do, you're gonna fold the, this corner, the corner that doesn't have any crease, no, many crease, the corner that doesn't have any, many crease, not any, m not many creases on it, and fold it to the second intersection and the one with the edge. Now, let me just check my work. Okay, cool. What you're gonna do is you're gonna fold this edge, or sorry, this edge, only where the triangle, only where the triangle is, to this line. So, this edge, to this line, and don't make a full crease. Only on the long, up to the up to the crease in it, on the long side. And repeat in, on the other side. Therefore, making an angle bisector. Now, what you're gonna do? On don't unfold. Just unfold the pinch you made. And now you're gonna create a rabbit ear. And make sure it's creased really strong. It's gonna come in handy later. Let me just check I did it right. I did it right. Okay. Oops. I did a piece of the storm stuck together. That's a good thing. Okay, now you're gonna fold it in half the other way, but still keeping it folded. Let me check. Okay. Now you're gonna do the same thing. Go out on the angle bisector to the first crease. I'm gonna go a bit quicker for this one, not make all the creases because I already showed you. Okay, now, I wanna make sure that's right, it is. Now, we're gonna completely unfold, unfold this, this, this corner, this corner to where the, where the squares start. So fold it <clears throat> to the end of the two by two, to the end of the two by two grid. For, sorry, I should say four by four. Now, we're gonna fold here. So we're, in, we're just gonna fold um, to a lo along the same crease. So the first crease, that's the crease that's a valley fold. 
horizontal, sorry, vertically. We'll do the same thing around here. Don't worry, we're so close to being done with food making. I know it's boring. Just in the lull of doing that today, which is a good thing. Because I want to take my time and show it well. And there were heat on the other side. Unfold. We have all our pre creasing done. It's gonna look like this. Oops, let me show that better. Sorry. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna start by collapsing the bird bases or these. These. You're gonna start with the one in the you're gonna start with the one on the edge. Doesn't matter which one. You're gonna make the edges of the these dark mountain folds. And make some diagonal creases too to help with the points on the Ninja Star. Once you make the mountain folds, I'll show you what to do next in the day. What you're gonna do, the bit of a tricky part is you're gonna collapse it by squishing it together. It's gonna look like this. Now, this is a tricky step. You're gonna turn it over. This actually might be a white bird. I did it wrong, but not a big deal. You're gonna fold, you're gonna fold it so that the edges are, so that the first edge, sorry, the second edge on the creases, sorry, second crease from the middle on the creases we made for this is a mountain fold. Fix this real quick. Okay, now you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna create the diamonds. So the mountain fold, sorry, the valley fold in the middle goes ver sorry, horizontal and flattens vertically. Be careful not to rip it. There we go. Repeat on the other three. <sighs> This is called, this is what happens when you do a complex horizontal. Hair design can be so complex. Take your time. It took a while, so did scales, and so did my, and even, especially my grandfather's box. 
It was hard for me. I, sorry, stretchy is when I drink that box. I just don't like it. It's trickier for my nice sometimes. for this. Now, we have the first third base done. I want to make sure it looks good to you. Has just been perfect, but just try to make it the best you can. Now, do the one next to it, not the one in the corner, but the one in the center of the paper. Now, we're going to open it again and do some more diamonds when we put the mountain gold on. It's a pretty tricky collapse. Wait, no. Okay. Oh, we don't open it there, actually. I should have put some diamonds there in the design, but still. Turn over and do the diamonds. First, we gotta collapse it, squish it, I mean. It's trickier than you'd expect, this collapse.
There we go, gotcha. Yeah, I think I got it. Gotta be careful not to rip it. Ugh, not again. I hate this computer. tuned for part two. Okay, so I figured it out while I was doing wrong. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold it to the, you're gonna tilt it to the side and then push making it make the diamonds up. Why not? Now this takes a bit of practice. You might be remembering this similar step from the Satoshi Kamiya's Ancient Dragon. Okay. So now, once you do all of those, and you're going to re-crease the diamond. Sorry, not the diamond. I'm calling it the diamond. The, um, the bird base, or the vintage star, as, I, as I'll call it for a bit, to help sort of you remember. Because it, I'd not easily say it's a bird base. Sorry. It is a bird base. That's a way to make a bird base in your collapses. So once you do that, you're going to make sure the diamond is still greased. I'm just going to call it a diamond. It's easier. Two hours to get this, so I might be forgetting a few things. Okay. So we have two of the, of the um, bird bases done. Just weren't gonna perfect. We're gonna perfect them. We're gonna um what we're gonna do is we are gonna make the diamonds the other way. So this is a bit of a tricky step. I know. I mean it's always a trick. It'll be easier to see once I get my overhead camera, but that's about it. So, for now. Okay, we have the first one done. One down, three to go. While you're doing that, you're going to make a sink, a series of sinks. Not really sinks, more like a reversal, the pleat sink, the reverse, pleat reverse, whatever you want to call it, on the corner. It's going to look like this. You're going to have the pleat reverse, whatever, here. And the diamonds are going to be here. So, like I said, while you're making the diamonds, you're going to make sure that you make the pleats. Whatever you want to call it. Same thing.
and we have almost finished um um the diamonds. We're gonna check it, make sure that it's still working. There, the plates are working. Okay. Check your work. Like I said, this is, as I keep saying, sorry, but I mean it. This is a very non simple model. I mean it. Make sure it doesn't rip. That's the, that's the most important part in all the origami. Because if you rip it, you can't really do it anymore. We're going to do the next diamond. I feel like, why do I keep calling it diamonds? I'm just going to call it diamonds from now on, like I said. Make sure, well, let's recrease what we already have. Almost ready. Like I said, this is going to be a very, and I mean very, long tutorial. Not as long as some of my other videos, though. Still. Okay, now we're going to the next diamond. And I, this time I mean it. That's not really a diamond. Sorry, I keep saying this. I'm kind of annoyed with myself. So collapse is a very overwhelming collapse. Like I said, we're on we're, we're the borders. We're going to diamonds or ninja star or whatever you want to call it. The diamonds, that's better. Now we're going to do the pleats, you know, and the diamonds, you know, the drill. Pretty cool model, some people may disagree. Oh, gotta turn my mask back on. Happens sometimes. And we are really close to being done. Gotta collapse it a bit. I'll do that just in case. We're going to collapse the last diamond. Or the ninja star, or the diamonds, the triangles, the bird base, the pleats, whatever you want to call it. Everyone calls it something different. I call it, I call it the bird base, and I can't seem to remember that. There are so 
or bird bases. I'll post the decrease pattern on my on in the description. Actually, I think I will. I don't really know how to do it. Now we're gonna slowly flatten it. I know this is a tree collapse. So we're just gonna take our time. Get it real quick. This is very hard to collapse. I didn't mean the thing about a part two, I just wanted to make sure that you guys know that this is going to be a two part video. Uh, you know what I mean. A video that has um, multiple videos into it. Because I had to take a break and figure out what I was doing wrong. Which I did. And I figured out that I had to make an extra crease. Which I showed. Remember, this might be tricky because you have to do a few of the creases on the inside. We'll be able to flatten it soon. Sorry, guys. Still working on it. Developing this origami. It's harder to. It's easier to design something and not know what you're doing than trying to actually make something. So, by the way, this long flap is going to be the tail. The tail's quite simple. It's the it's the other parts that aren't that easy. I can't show it well, but if you really want me to, I'll probably make a redo. But right now, I'm really trying to make it the best I can. I might be a bit lazy, but right now, I'm my camera connector to hold on my camera on from a bird's eye view isn't coming until Monday, and this when I'm taking this is a Friday. So I'm trying my best, as we all can. Right now I'm trying to flatten it. I'm working on it. Oops. Turn off. Ah, this computer is turning off while I'm recording. Let's see if that happens again.
we are we have collapsed it almost it's gonna be pretty thick i warn you about that it's also gonna be black which is pretty cool okay and you're done collapsing it your base should look like this One thing is go back and add a bit more pressure, make it look a bit better. So now we don't have much to do from here. So let's check. We just open the, we just take the flask that has many layers in it and open it up. We just kind of pinch it at the bottom to make the leg. Never mind. Oops, sorry. Yeah, I got it right. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold the leg down. This is a flap on the bottom. And then we're gonna um we're gonna make a reverse fold. Make a really big reverse fold. Actually, never mind. Okay, I did it upside down. Sorry. Let me. Um, you're gonna. No, let's just do it this way. I'll make it up as I go. So, um, you're gonna fold it up. And then what we're gonna do is you're gonna make a, some reverse folds. We're gonna make the wings again. And we have to make the back a bit shorter, so you're gonna fold, so you're gonna open this flap, the flap on the top, and fold it open, and then fold it its sides to the side. We're almost done. All we have to do now is, this is the tricky part, is open the tail. It's really actually fun. You just open it and push down, and you have the drag. Sorry, not dragon. I'm used to making the dragons. And we have the Empress bird. I hope you enjoyed the video, and see you next time.